You are listening to the LA Artist After Show, where we chat with the artist about anything and everything, most of which we probably forgot to mention during the podcast. So all of this is bonus content just for you. And then it just slowly fades out, yeah. All of a sudden you hear like gunshots at the end. <laughs> Cause that, that that's how the news people do it. Yeah. Where where, where they they say goodbye and then they just start talking. Yeah. Or just whatever. Casually yeah. Chatting. And, and then speaking of talking, thank you for joining us to the after show, <laughs> the largest podcast after show. Oh, uh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> how are you? I, I don't know what time. It is. Do, you, do you need more drink? All right. Do, do you need you, more drink? Yeah. I'm not, I think I'm good. You're good. All right. All right, see you later after uh, show. I'm going to go get a drink. I'm going to yes. go get a drink. No, no, drink break. Continue. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's, he's a... Uh, oh, can I get a beer? You don't need uh, him. I, I want a beer. You, you want a beer? Uh, I, am, I am super professional that I'm getting uh, drinks during the podcast. <laughs> yes, uh, for, uh, that'll be a round of three for everybody. Hang on, let me, let me walk. <laughs> let me walk. <laughs> walk through the camera. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> but, but again, th- thank you for, for being part of the show. Of it's, it's, well, it's really cool what you guys do. Seriously, you know, in all honesty, you guys are lifting people up. And I love that the artists you guys include in your gallery are all levels, you know, merging. Everyone. Yeah, yeah, because it, it is one of those things where everyone is at a different pace. Mm-hmm. Uh, everyone has different levels. Everyone is in a different point of their life. Mm-hmm. Like, however old they are, they might be in a completely different space, even if they are the same age. Yeah. Because you know? that's that's just human. Mm-hmm. And you can see it in art even more. Definitely. Art kind of mirrors the journey of being a human, too. Yeah. The, the change that you go through. But yeah. yeah. And it's important. It's cool that a beginner artist could be in a show with a more experienced artist, and I think that's a valuable, yeah. valuable experience. For e- them. Even though you're you're not a beginner artist, <laughs> you're, you're talking about yourself, right? Being... I bet I'm the more experienced <laughs> oh. one, I guess. But you know, <laughs> like don't call yourself old. I am trying even... to, you know, be a little bit more, getting used to bragging a little more. It's like a skill you gotta learn. Some yeah. some personalities aren't aren't as good. It, it, it is one of those things where like. There will be a point in every artist's journey where they do have to kind of be able to talk about themselves. Mm-hmm. And it's, ho- it's always hard to just talk about themselves or mm-hmm. talk about yourself a lot. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's always fun. Mm-hmm. And that's why I like doing these, pod- these style podcasts with my stomach rumbling because um, <laughs> I haven't eaten in like three days. Um, but to be able to, it's a little bit more intimate. Like yes, there's cameras, yes, there's microphones, but uh, it's it's just chit chatting. Mm-hmm. It's it's having fun, and especially for the after show, mm-hmm. just we don't have any notes. Oh, like by the by after the, hours. By yeah. the way, I'm back. Yes, Say, and you're, <laughs> you're so hungry. So here, <laughs> yeah. here's some liquid liquid bread. <laughs> yeah, liquid bread. Was like, liquid uh, bread. Uh, Thank you so what, much. What would you like? I don't. Oh. I, I just I, we have random beers that friends bring. Yeah. So this is uh, toffee, they caramel, both? and dried fruit. This is a blended, uh, blended ale aged in I'll cognac barrels. One. That one? All right, cool, cool, sure. cool, cool. Yeah, it says the notes right here. <laughs> Ooh. What, what is this one? This is the... Oh, can I have this one? Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Kinda, I'm not a fan of that other one. S much. What, what is this one? Cheers. 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 Clinky, clinky. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too loud for the audio listeners. Hang on, let me it cheers on the... It wasn't right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't spill on the mic. <laughs> But yeah, th- this more casual after show, it's always mm-hmm. fun because, you know, we end up talking about things that what does this one we taste like? don't, we didn't mention in the show. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, one of the things that uh, I wanted to ask you is mm-hmm. like, uh, what got you started with uh, resin? With resin? Yeah, because obviously mm-hmm. you were doing oils in the beginning, you were doing acrylics, yeah. but, but like, why resin? Why, why resin? We didn't, yeah, we but why male fully... models? <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> Wait, no, that's about to happen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Male model. <Ooh. laughs> um. So resin, I I jumped into that because it can make art that is functional. Is really why I did it because I was making coasters and I wanted to make things to sell at fairs, small things, and I don't know why coasters just 
became a thing, but I think because I was doing fluid art and th- stuff during that time, and I just wanted to paint these little wood wood rounds, and I thought, oh, well, you put resin on that, and that makes it functional because it protects mm-hmm. the paint, yeah. um, and it can then uh, be cleaned off. Even though uh, <laughs> sometimes resin coasters kind of suction to the <laughs> <Yeah>. condensation. So, <laughs> so, so speaking of resin coasters, uh, they suck. there's there's this, there's this other <laughs> don't buy them. But here's the link. There's this <laughs> other other podcast where they had a, they had um they made their brand new table with their branding and everything, and it was it was a resin coat on top of it. Yeah. And then they'll have their drinks on the table. And then after a few minutes, they'd have a hard time to pick it up because oh, it gets stuck. It stuck. It gets stuck into the yeah. resin, like dunk. resin. And then they'll have like an indent, and then mm. it'll just it'll just cure itself. I've seen but, that uh, happen. But, yeah, but, but it, <laughs> it'll scary. get the drink stuck. Yeah. <laughs> resin gets harder over time, over a long time though. Yeah. So it, it'll. Yeah. When and it was a fresh. it was a big table too. Yeah, right? that that's scary. <laughs> but yeah, that's how resin started, and it kind of a lot of people knew me for doing resin for the longest time, and and people I taught quite a few people resin, and even did resin for like a frame shop once because they needed to do it for a client. Yeah, and um, now I mostly just will coat pieces in resin um, because. Resin is a whole endeavor, you know, you got to wear the the respirator because it's usually toxic um, and you're applying heat to it. So there's a lot of that is involved in Mm -hmm. that process. So part of the reason why I don't want to do resin Mm -hmm. that much, I did want to do resin, Mm -hmm. but it's so tedious, so many things (laughs) to make it be good. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, it was just kind of a one of those things in my journey, just another tool to use. And that's why I'm like, I still do oh. use it, but not as much. There's another artist that does resin for for their paintings. Mm-hmm. Oh, what's it's, it's something with an S. Is it? Is, is it? Uh, is it? Right? Is it me? Who? <laughs> Son, Son, Sonoma? Sodoma? Counting? <laughs> But no, but the, it it does give it a, a really nice, uh, glossy mm-hmm. finish to it, and obviously it does protect and it, the painting. It can be thinner or pretty thick. You can you can put it on thick, but you, I'm trying to remember the layer of you only want to do like one sixteenth or one eighth of an inch thick, and then let that cure for a day and do it again on top. And resin is cool because like that table I was talking about in the show show, not the after show, <laughs> um, even though it got like a fly stuck in it, I could still sand it out and recoat it. So yeah. you can sand, sand it and, and recoat it and it comes out clear. Yeah. <laughs> and, and what's the usual like dry span? Like, is it like, it's Obviously, like it doesn't. Twenty-four hour kind of yeah, not twenty minutes thing. No, no. Working time is like usually around forty-five minutes if you're lucky. So that when you're doing resin, if I used to try to do as many things as I can, because if I was gonna mix some resin, I wanted to go all out. And um, if I was finally getting to like whatever last thing I had planned, and it starts curing a little bit, and then all of a sudden it's like really sticky and yeah. hard to move and i'm like oh i shouldn't yeah, be doing this yeah, anymore <laughs> but there's kind of a, a time timer you know counting down when you're using it which you know can be stressful that's, cool. <laughs> yeah, that, that's also good to know so, so mm-hmm. anyone who wants to do resin yeah stuff like that. yeah just be safe you know, make make sure you have that that respirator. And make sure, make sure, gloves. make sure you don't wear a respirator. Make sure you're like people don't. A lot yeah, of people like, don't. And, and, the windows are shut. Yeah, enclosed room. I'm just like, as long as I told them that it's toxic, <laughs> yeah. that's all I can do. Yeah. If you're actually gonna do it, that, that's it's up the, to you. That's the disclaimer. They're your brain cells. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So like you can you, you can lose brain cells I'm, in other ways that are funner. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm trying to hang on to the few that I have, but I it is interesting thinking about just being a painter and even the paint that I see on Andrew's hands here, like constantly having chemicals. Like I wonder, I wonder if we're gonna live as long as non artists. Yeah. Well, it, it, I it, I, it, I use, use non toxic paint. Yeah, I mean it's not toxic. 
classic, but isn't there <laughs> still? What about yeah? What about what? when you eat it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There, I feel like there's still, I don't know. I feel like anything that gets on your skin gets found or, her. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, ho- ho- hopefully we'll <laughs> last at least till next year. Just do so, what you can. Yeah. At least. So the the artist, the artist, I, I just found the artist that I wanted to shout out. Uh, her name is Mo Mo, and uh, her Instagram is Shardula. But uh, she we, does some resin resin paint. We want to see. No. <laughs> Ooh, layers. so she she does layers <laughs> so she 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 paints and then does a layer of resin mm-hmm. and then paints on top of the resin and then does another layer and then another painting and another layer and paintings and layers it's very delicate yeah, yeah 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 and uh and it's not only paint it's also um uh the washi tape Mm -hmm. so so for some of the clothing or some of the flowers you'll just do cutouts of the washi tape and then just you Mm -hmm. know layer them on and then just another layer of resin and it's so cool that's really cool i love uh, that i've seen videos of her like where she where she's gonna she's about to do resin she cleans her whole little studio Mm-hmm. and uh because she's about to pour resin so it's like a whole procedure dust it all up Uh sweep uh, but then you gotta let the dust settle if you clean. Yeah. You gotta yeah. Like, wait a sec. Yeah. <laughs> and then and then when she pours and then she puts like pans or whatever mm-hmm. over it to cover it just in case. Mm-hmm. So it's always a, a whole thing. Yeah, I because I resin in my wood garage. I actually have this huge tent that I set up, and it's it's for spray painting the tent. But I just kind of make it's a nine foot tent, a little room within the garage so it's kind of my little dust free room and then i can put it away into a box and try to keep it as clean as possible (laughs) do you wear like like the hazmat suit (laughs) well maybe not as much as a hazmat suit but you know when when the 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 doctors and the nurses are in the quarantine zone they have like (laughs) a white no just the gloves a white suit and gloves and then tape around the gloves just the gloves and the the mask uh there was a certain period of time when i was pouring a lot of coasters where my eyes were kind of hurting leaning over the resin yeah so sometimes i would even put on goggles Yeah, yeah 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 But uh, yeah, and I've even spilled it on my skin and Sw- stuff. You, swimming goggles. You want to quit? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> snorkel. Ready? Yeah, to go. A, a yeah snorkel. A snorkel. <laughs> a snorkel. Full snorkel mess. But no, but but that is cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. like the 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 resin the resin journey. And are you still doing resin now, or like here and there? Just here and there. It has been a sec. I don't think I've coded anything. Well, you're focusing on your new lot. series right now. So. Yeah, I'm more painting um, my bigger odd shapes that I'm making. Um, I'm not coding them in resin because I, I'm just, I just prefer kind of a regular mm-hmm. gloss varnish yeah. Yeah. for that because resin can be so reflective. It yeah. almost adds a different visual element yeah. that, you know, is not for every piece of but it, it's very reflective depending on which room. And you're if you in. if you see like Maul's uh photographs, it it also takes a while to make sure the the light is properly to photograph the yeah. the, the resin because <laughs> uh it, well, it's yeah, so reflective. Yeah, because so to... even on that when uh we we had uh, your pieces for the, mm-hmm. for the show. Like I have a background in photography. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a lot of uh, photography equipment here, lighting equipment and film equipment, and uh, it, it it took a bit. <laughs> it took, it took, <laughs> Gave to, me a little challenge yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but then I was able to like light it correctly. It is doable. Uh, yeah. it, it is doable, but mm-hmm. you do need um, to make sure that you know. Even just uh, for the people who are seeing the video. Uh, we have a couple of pieces up here. Mm-hmm. They're at a slight angle facing yeah. down a little. Um, just so the light doesn't shine into it and mm-hmm. reflect into the camera mm-hmm. and little things like that. Where, uh, and then if you photograph it, uh, if you photograph it in that way mm-hmm. in Photoshop or, or Lightroom, you can distort it so it could be flat again. Yeah. Uh, and little things like those are a couple little mm-hmm. tips. Uh, on how to take photos of things that are usually reflective. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm 
very amateur with my photography, but I put the my I have two lights, so I just put them way to the side on each side to kind of counter each other, uh, just so there's no light in front that it's gonna capture. Yeah. But like I bet this one could definitely get straight in the middle of the canvas, depending on how you <laughs> yeah. how you shoot it. And, and and again, like the bigger the light, the better light wrap. Uh, mm -hmm. th that it does so less shadows yeah uh and uh if, if you if anybody wants to take photos of their art and doesn't have enough light mm -hmm. just wait for a cloudy day mm. uh, you could take oh, them yeah. outside and there'll be no reflections mm -hmm. everything will be nice and lit yes. just because the the clouds will make a large light source mm -hmm. it won't be like the singular sun where it's like very mm -hmm. direct so it'll soften it up and it's it's like the perfect time for photographing yeah. art outside isn't dawn or dusk usually the best time too if the sun comes out you want to wait at yeah. least yeah you, you do <laughs> but you only uh, have like a 30 minute window <laughs> you, you it have, is yeah. yeah but if you, there's no <laughs> cloudy days around at all you gotta yeah, do uh, it like, somehow it, it, you know it's called the the uh the golden hour so mm -hmm. you you have technically like 30 minutes of really amazing light mm -hmm. but throughout a, a whole hour period um, but at the same time, uh, it will make it, it'll make the color, it'll shift the colors a little bit because of the warmth yeah. of the light. Mm -hmm. So versus a cloudy day, it'll be in like a nice, bright, solid, almost bluish light, mm -hmm. but it's very clean, very mm -hmm. clear. If you see sunsets, they're orangey, more warmer tones. So that yeah, can shift that, the colors of yeah of your painting mm -hmm. and do you suggest for taking photos like that do you suggest um laying it down on the ground and taking above or putting it on a wall the easiest putting it on a wall yeah and just go straight at it mm -hmm. um just because if you put it on the ground you have to have an apparatus to be able to put it the camera above the mm -hmm. the painting on and, and it, then, might, it might it might cast something. a shadow as well. It might cast a shadow, oh, yeah. even, even if it's yeah. a small shadow, it still casts. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and cast like a and, and and again and even so, uh, another tip would be if there is like bright sunlight, just go behind a building where it's like nice and shadow, mm -hmm. like where you see the the shadow of the building. Yeah, you live in that space mm -hmm. uh, because the light will probably reflect from another building on the other side. Mm -hmm. And you essentially is using it as a reflector. Mm -hmm. So you will have light on your side, but because of the shadows of the building, it won't be harsh. Mm -hmm. And so, or if you're in a parking structure where it's like bright light, but in your garage, just open up your garage mm -hmm. door and let the entire ambient outside light come in. Mm -hmm. And it'll be nice and uh, soft mm -hmm. just because of how light just reflects throughout whether it be the the uh, floor and then it hits the side of your house and then once the light is inside it'll bounce around the different walls and stuff like that mm -hmm. so it'll be a little bit nice and cleaner softer light but cloudy days is best time mm -hmm. yeah. for for a nice clean flat now if you're going to do portraits not on a cloudy day because <laughs> face looks really flat um, <laughs> You you need those uh, contrasts and that shadows and lighting. yeah, yeah. Get the little triangle. Yeah, <laughs> the, 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 and to do Rembrandt lighting, it's mm -hmm. uh, the light is placed at a forty five degree angle from you and mm -hmm. at a forty five degree height from you, mm -hmm. and that would be a perfect just Rembrandt. Just one, one, just right? one. Yeah. All you need is just one mm -hmm. for for traditional Rembrandt lighting, mm -hmm. and then from there you can have a reflector on the other side to fill in. Some of the shadows, the, the uh, rim to, light, to to get a little couple little details. You can put a, a light behind you for, for the rim light, and and to separate your hair from the background and stuff like that. But it's a whole different. <laughs> but as far as photograph uh, art on uh, cloudy days is a perfect, especially if you want to make the art look nice. Like if you find a, a nice hedge, uh, uh mm -hmm. you know, or whatever. Just hang it on the hedge so you can have the leaves and the greenery mm -hmm. and then the painting there. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I think it's always nice to have staged art photos, too, especially if you're doing listings and selling online. But I've been just every room in my apartment just like 
okay, by the couch here, I'll stage my art here. In my bedroom, I'll stage here. Like I take them myself instead of doing the computer generated stage photos where mm -hmm. it's like a fake living room, you know, mm -hmm. because I, I just really want that accurate representation. I want people to know exactly what they're getting, yeah. even though it just it does take that extra work. But I yeah. like having them. That, that's that, that's again that's definitely the like the the business side of art yeah yeah the, like okay i finished the painting now how do i sell it mm -hmm. <laughs> how do i make it look good so somebody can buy it mm -hmm. stuff like that. yeah i mean you're like you're lucky you know all the photography you do because it does go hand in hand with with the art business i'm lucky yeah. my mom was a photographer and graphic designer my uh great grandma was an oil painter actually Ooh, nice. so it skipped a couple generations because <laughs> my mom is more of the photography and 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 painter but it's interesting how it, how it skipped there yeah but i was gonna say something about my mom's photography and <laughs> i forgot that it's good thought. but yeah it that it's good. really good she <laughs> knows her lighting i was lucky to have her kind of teach me a bit there because it helps me with my business you yeah. know but if you really are at a loss trying to get your own photos you should probably hit up someone who yeah. can help at first yeah. <laughs> yeah and again it all goes back to fundamentals technique mm -hmm. yeah. like uh and because again you, you it doesn't have to be like a fifty thousand dollar camera mm -mm. with like ten thousand dollars worth of lighting it could be like, a twenty thousand no. dollar camera <laughs> Like it could be just your phone. Some people do run dollars. their whole businesses their off phone. of their phone. Yeah. You know, it's and fine. It may be not be like print quality, but picture quality yeah. is there. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, th th those are some cool little tidbits and tricks and stuff like that on the on art. Are, and stuff. are you going to release your odd shapes into prints or 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 just this this uh square series i forgot what um, you called it radiant gradients radiance, are those radiance, and the, gradients. i talked i talked about i'm gonna do the odd shape stickers but i'm still like not 100 percent sure how i want to do odd shape prints yet because mm. just of the shapes that they are and yeah and the work involved my idea was an odd shape print and put it in like a floating glass frame but i'm trying to think about how to do that without the frame i would have to build another shape to put it yeah. on and it's just very time consuming but uh i'm just more focused on making some originals now yeah. you know yeah. sometimes you can get distracted with your work when it's a business sometimes i've honestly spent most of january doing business things and then like it really it starts to kind of be soul sucking you know i'm like yeah. what am i doing <laughs> i'm an artist i'm supposed to be painting yeah. So that's another, you know, challenge when it comes to approaching art as a business. So I'm so ready to get back painting. You guys are yeah. giving me inspo to go yes. do that. Let's, <laughs> let's go. I actually have to finish. Yeah. Yeah. How do you manage? I feel like you paint so much, Andrew. How do you? I don't know. How do drink you, a lot of beer. Yeah, is it because you have a brother here that's, okay. that's so okay. good you see, in the you, business? You see how you're doing, you're doing both art and business? Yes. I have the luxury of doing art, art, and then his business. That is so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that is so, so cool. So tell your boyfriend to start learning <laughs> business. That way he could help you out. <laughs> he is. I mean, we all I mean, work I mean, for yeah. uh, my my family's in the food industry, so that's another thing. Side jobs that I always did just to get by. Mm -hmm. I took pictures of food. <laughs> so do oh, what yeah. you can. <laughs> You did the the food photography art thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Or, I mean, you, I do you, lot, did lots of food photography, um, package design, and things like that. So, no, but was it was it with a friend, or I don't remember. This was like a few months ago, or a few years ago, or something. That um, you were, uh, I think you were taking pictures of food and then. Putting them on canvas. Oh. Was it on canvas or was it just? I did pictures? paint some food. Or I went through one period, but they weren't my pictures. But I went through a period where I was painting like pretzels and stuff. <laughs> but uh, just painting the foods I love. But but no. 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 Most mm. of the my 
food photography sessions were just... for for job kind of okay, okay. thing but it does translate so so like, what if you make like the food, <laughs> food. like super yeah. colorful there's gradient. a lot of cool food <laughs> art out there i love the tech textured food art like when people use that modeling paste mm, and they'll okay. do like a like peanut butter on toast stuff Ooh. there's this one texture Ooh, artist good. um who i think is somewhere in europe or something who mm -hmm. does that mm, okay. um but uh yeah nice but i do like food so like getting to work in food like trader joe's and all that was, mm -hmm. was always kind of fun because who, yeah. do who doesn't like food? <laughs> <laughs> i know nice. but uh but yeah speaking of food it's almost time for lunch or breakfast or dinner or wherever to, uh audience members don't forget to eat and drink as well. Send us that food recommendations. Uh, yeah, As send, an send us food <laughs> recommendations. It's always important to 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 eat and hydrate. Sleep not so much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you we don't, don't need, need sleep. Yeah, I don't need sleep. Just food. Need sleep. Uh, but again, thank you for joining us. Thank, thank you for you. for being a part mm -hmm. of uh, even just this journey, this podcast journey that we're having, and uh, and you have some amazing tips that uh, hopefully everyone can benefit from. I know we benefit from them as well. And um, yeah, we yeah. mainly ask the tips so that, you know, to inspire yeah. us. <laughs> like, like, we, we, we need them. <laughs> we, we mainly uh, ask for, for, for ourselves. Yeah. But hey, yeah. it's all, it's full circle. <laughs> it, We're it, all it, inspiring it, each other. It, it truly is. I forget to leave my house sometimes and just make art. So stuff like this is very valuable. <laughs> so thank you guys too. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> And again, all the links will be in the description. Be sure to uh, follow uh, Tasha Vision on Instagram and everywhere else. Check out her website and buy art. Uh, her new stickers that are coming out as well. Those are going to look amazing. I can already tell you that they're going to be amazing. So, yeah. Thank you for joining us. Can I plug my, yes. my prints that I did just release, which is this, yes. this rainbow sticker right here called chromophoria yeah all you yeah. audience listeners is that <laughs> yeah. sticker right I there i have a limited edition so i stretched all the cam 12 canvas prints myself how many do you have left um they're th the full Pick set up soon. is still there i just released them january has been slow i guess january is pretty slow for an artist i'm still learning <laughs> but uh um there's 12 of them and i customize them so each one has one painted square Ooh. with paint from the original painting yes so kind of make them one of a kind that way yes. so check those out and uh yeah, yeah check them <laughs> out again what's the size on the canvases um 18 by 24. Nice. Yeah, I'm so bad with numbers. That, 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 that sounds about right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that sounds like is, a canvas. That, that's what they were looking like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, put a, you, put a, you put a post on your on your Instagram yes. and just fill the wall with them. Yes, yeah. I did. It fill. looks so cool. My boyfriend asked me uh, when we moved into an apartment not to instantly put rainbows from floor to ceiling. <laughs> and guess what I did? Too late. <laughs> Too I late. mean, technically, it's not rainbows. It's just squares. <laughs> yeah, the squares. But yeah, definitely <laughs> check them out. Uh, we'll put the link in the description. And uh, uh, with the promo code Lorono Gallery, you'll get 1% off your entire purchase. <laughs> One percent. <off. laughs> no, but but seriously, go go check them out. They're they're amazing. A promo Tasha code Vision. you pay an extra dollar. You pay an extra dollar <laughs> and it goes to us now. Uh, but again, TashaVision.com. Thank yeah. you for joining us. Thank you. Thank guys. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always like we keep going forever <laughs> uh, just keep going. you have been listening to the LA Artist Podcast feel free to like follow and subscribe so you don't miss the latest episode you can see bonus content on our Instagram at Lorano Gallery as well as our website loranogallery.com slash podcast stay creative keep creating and no matter what be passionate about your art 